Hey everybody, this is Matt with Option Omega. Thanks for watching the video. Today we have a video on an advanced feature. It's our CSV file upload. And what this does is this allows you to upload a CSV file and test custom signals in our back tester. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is turn on access to the custom signals tester. We have it gated by default because it's an advanced feature. So we're gonna click upper right hand corner of the screen, settings, and then we've got um, our different choices here, right? We're gonna go down to preferences, click show advanced option, and update preferences. Now, when we look at the back tester, at the very bottom, we will see CSV file upload settings. All right, before we get into it, I want to take just a quick second to go through our documentation website and the custom signals tester. If you go to optional mega docs, you will see our website that has the instructions for the tester itself and has a section under advanced options on the custom signals tester. So as I've mentioned several times, this is an advanced feature. This shows how to go through the tester in written format. You're watching this video, so hopefully you like video formats, but if you need a refresher or have some questions, you can look here. The other thing that's really important is this has sample file formats. So we have blank CSV files for a couple different scenarios. So if you want to test that entry times only, you can click here and it will download a CSV file. We have several different examples for testing entry times only, testing entry and exit times, testing entry times and strikes, and testing entry times, exit times, and strikes. OptionalMegaDocs.com advanced options, custom signals tester. Now that we have our file downloaded, let's go ahead and run a test. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna upload the file, signals open only, and this file here, if you look at it, it's pretty simple. It's just got a custom dates and times. That's all it is, two, two dates and two times, okay? So nothing fancy, so let's do, now let me just show you this. If you click run, nothing's gonna happen. That's because this is really important. You still have to follow all the normal rules for running the back tester. So let's just do, we'll do a spy back test and we'll do a long call spread. We'll do a long call spread. And uh, I don't know the exact DT, so I'm gonna uncheck this, we'll do, uh, 5 DTE, 45, there we go, 20%, that's fine. And this is just, again, for the, the, the point of the video. So now that we've selected all those, boom, there we go. That's just how easy it is. So if you go to the trade log, it will show you that it picked the day and the time, 25th and 24th, 10, 15 a.m. It picked the day and the time that we had in the uh, CSV file. Okay, now that we've actually run a test, I'm just gonna take a quick second to talk about formatting. The formatting of this is non-negotiable. It's very important. Again, if you go to the, the documentation website, which I just talked about, you can find sample files that you can download and modify. But we have a great help community. We'll help you figure out the back tester on our Discord. Every day we answer questions. We're not really here to help you manage a CSV file. This is, again, this is an advanced format. Not to say we won't take a quick look and try to help you, but this is the format that you need to, to choose to get the custom signals tester to work properly. Okay, we tested a bunch of different ways. This is the, this is the cleanest and easiest way that we found. So if you look at the the bottom of the page on the documentation website. You will see the headers and the cell formatting that you have to have. And it's pretty straightforward, but the date and time must be in this exact format. They must be in that format. You have to have these headers. You have to have this exact formatting. So it's, it's self-explanatory if you look at it. It's just, it's really important. The signals tester will not work if you do not have the formatting done correctly. So just a brief moment before we look at another example.
All right, let's look at another example of the tester. And what I'm doing, again, I'm on the documentation website, which is at optionalmegadocs.com. I'm just going down through the different use cases, the different ways we can use the tester. So we've already done testing entry times only. Let's do testing entry and exit times. I'm going to grab the CSV that's here. And again, all we're loading in is the open and close time. That's all we're loading, okay? So, uh... Again, this note highlights it, but the normal selections you have to make for the back tester are still required. And this choice of testing entry and exit times is going to be selected by choosing the first two toggles on the CSV file uploading settings. So the first two toggles. So let's go here and let's let's do one in IWM for variety. We'll do take off exec DTE. And if you notice, I've, I, I have the file uploaded. I've got the first two boxes checked. I don't have all my op my choices here because it already has the exit time. Okay, so we're just going to click run. <laughs> That's so fast. Uh, the devs really worked hard to make this super fast uh, for signals testing, but as you can see, this worked just fine. Um, and uh, got another winner here. But here is our uh, successful trade, as it was, um, with a 17% drawdown. So um, again, this is this is just to show you the tester. I'm obviously not recommending this trade, but um, we selected uh, IWM. We selected what we wanted to trade, and then we used the custom signals tester to choose the entry and the exit times. So that's another way that you can use it. Okay, we're gonna to go to our next use case. So this is gonna be testing entry times and strikes. So this is gonna have the first and the third toggle checked on the tester. So we're gonna go back to the tester. Uh, we will check the first and the third. We're gonna upload our file. And this file, if we look at it, is buying call okay so we can tell that from the strikes that this is not going to be good for spx so let's do this in spy and uh we will do a year to date test with spy and let's take 20 percent profit 20 percent loss and again you know normally i would go through here and put all these things in it just you know um these kind of things right here to beat up the test a little bit. So we'll do that and show you that it works just the same. Boom, here we go. Um, so uh, if we click on the trade log, we can see that it did exactly what the CSV upload told it to do. We just did the two trades. There they are. That's what we bought. And again, if you ever want to customize what the trade log shows up, you can drag things around or whatnot. We have a whole other video on that. But you can see that this use case, this third way of using the custom signals tester for testing entry times and strikes works just like that. One more to go. Okay, we're going to go to our last way of using the CSV file upload settings for the custom signals tester. And we're going to look at what happens when you have a back test with all three of the toggles selected. So we are going to go back again, the documentation website. I'm just using this sample CSV. So I've grabbed that. Let's choose it here. Yes. Signals, exit and strikes. And uh, you know what? Let's just leave. Let's just leave everything the same and we'll run it. There we go. So this was doing even more uh, data from the CSV file. So if you look at it, it's telling us when to open, when to close, what we're doing. We just plugged in some of the choices, like we made sure it was spy, and then we plugged in um, the allocation and some of the miscellaneous features. So that is the last way of using the tester. Once again, thanks for watching the video. Um, we've got a Discord community. If you go to optionalmega.com and you hover over this right here in the upper right-hand corner, this will take you to our Discord. 
We have verified channels for subscribers. The Discord is free. We do a cigar lounge, which is in the free channels. If you're a subscriber, please whisper an admin to get verified. And we've got um, help channels. We have channels where people post trades. We have lots of discussion. We've got hangout. We have it's a really lively and active Discord. So uh, we have monthly and annual subscriptions available at optionomega.com. If you want to check out uh, data on the back tester, again, you can go to our documentation website, uh, optionalmegadocs.com, or you can go to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash optionalmega. Thank you very much. Have a great day.